Originally from Bulgaria, Theodore Ushev moved to Montreal in the late 90s with a background in graphic design and quickly developed a strong working relationship with the National Film Board of Canada. Amongst the animated films he's directed is his 20th Century Trilogy, consisting of the politically driven short films Tower Bower, Drux Flux and Gloria Victoria, all of which bound by themes of industrial conflict while each being a celebration of a variety of different artistic styles. Well, the first uh, installment, Tower Bower, which was like uh, almost eight years ago, I did it uh, completely unconsciously. Uh, the story is uh, actually, I woke up uh, one evening and I was thinking about, about my father, who was artist as well, who was dealing with the totalitarian regime in uh, my country that I was born in, Bulgaria. It was a communist country at the time, and he had a lot of problems. That's how it started. The problem of uh, artist and the power has been always like very persistent and basically all of them are like inspired also by some books uh, most of them sociological and philosophical books for example Gloria Victoria was pretty much inspired by a book by Francis Fukuyama which is called The End of the History and The Last Man which discusses the conflict of civilization, the war, uh, the, the democracy, mm -hmm. things like this. So basically those are art films, but at the same time they are very political films. Mm -hmm. The first Tower Bauer, it was the constructivist, and the second one it's a lot of, which is Drux Flux, it's a lot of uh, uh, futurist, Italian futurist. And the third one, uh, in Gloria Victoria, it's a lot of German expressionism, and also I was very influenced by the English avant-garde movement, uh, vorticism. And I remember actually when all the film built up when I was visiting London for another festival and I saw a huge exp exposition of the Vorticist in Tate's gallery. And it influenced me a lot about the, uh, the visuals of uh, Gloria Victoria. Ushev also has a strong reputation as a multimedia artist and was commissioned in late 2013 by Montreal's Summits de Cinéma d'Animation to create the installation piece Third Page from the Sun, which has been officially selected for this year's Annecy Festival. My films were always uh, being part of the festival, but uh, like involvement, like uh, making something big as this installation, I never did before. When I did my first film from the installation, it was three years ago, and after that uh, I even didn't think about doing it as installation, I just had a like, very lo loosey idea of what I can do. And uh, suddenly this idea came to my mind and uh, I did the first sketches and I came to the artistic director of the Sommet d'Animation, Marco de Blois, and showed him the, my sketch, explained him a little bit about my idea that uh, eventually if we do the installation I, I'll do two additional films and all the sculptures and exposing the, the books and he liked the idea very much. The idea of that installation is uh, posing questions about uh, uh, what's the future of the books and the books, uh, I use the books as a metaphor. In the middle it was books who were called palimpsest and palimpsest means uh, you know the, the old writer and uh, artists were taking uh, already existing book and they were erasing them and um, starting from scratch, but using the pergament, the, the paper that was on those, those books. And it created like a new form of art. It's three books. Uh, the first book is a uh, film festival catalog, uh, animation film festival actually. I used a very nicely designed catalog from Fantosh Film Festival. And uh, because it was so well done that I didn't want to throw it out, but it, it's useless. Basically, once a festival is over, the, the film catalogs, they are useless anymore. And there are only some uh, very little, very few critics who use them for references. And the other book that I think in the digital age is also like in the a, in a process of disappearing is the, uh, the, the dictionary because no one uses dictionaries anymore. Everybody goes to, to the Google Translate or uh, Internet dictionaries. And the third book, uh, which I think is very important, is the Bible, because you know, almost no one buys the Bible anymore. It's kind of uh, irony, because the Bible was the first book ever printed from Gutenberg, and I guess it will be the last printed book as well. 
So I used those uh, three books as a palimpsest and creating a space uh, with uh, music sculptures and uh, films.